Hi guys, welcome to the 25th video of the Love Bubber 450 question series. So today we will be done with strings. Before starting, I really want to wish all of you a very happy Deepavali. And uh, I hope this uh, Deepavali season will bring a lot of uh, light and brightness in uh, your uh, coding and uh, placement related studies. So all the best for that. And in general also all the best. Spend some time with friends and family, taking some time off from everyday schedule. So actually we have not done two problems. This wildcard matching and one more problem, which is based on try. So this wildcard matching is actually a DP problem. So I will do it during DP. And that other problem is based on the try data structure. So I will do it when I'm doing try. Okay. So today we are left with only one problem. So recursively print all sentences that can be formed from list of words. So usually these kind of problems are brute force approach only like nothing brute force in the sense recursion, but uh, nothing much to think not so complicated and constraints are also little easy only most of the time. We can use backtracking also, or we can just use plain recursion. So whatever code I know, I also studied from this only, but I will tell you a shorter code. So watch it till the end. If you have not watched a single video till now, I'll put the link of the playlist in the description. And also you can find this questions link in the description. So all the videos you can find there. So let us start now. So we will be given an input like this. It will be a 2D kind of matrix of strings. And we have to print all the words and like, you know, in a sentence manner. So you can see here, they have printed in a specific way. They have said, see first you, then have, then sleep. So then they're saying you have and eat. So essentially what it is, Suppose there is a string S1, S2, okay. And in the next row, there is string S3, S4, S5, something. And in the last row, suppose S6, S7, S8. So some kind of this uh, matrix will be given like this, something similar, okay. So how to print the strings? How to print the string in the sentence form? We will take S1, we will go to next row, we will take S3, we will go to next row, we will take S6. Okay, then we will take S1 and S3, then we will go here. In the last row, we will go to the next column, that is S7. Then again, we will go here. So S1, S3, S8. I hope you're understanding how we should print it. You know, it is basic like uh, permutations only, like just which one to take selection type of problem. So first we will select uh, all the strings in the first column. Then we will keep all the strings in the first column except the last row and we will shift the column. So see, S1, S3, S6. We went like this. Okay, then we did S1, S3 and S7. Then we did S1, S3 and S8 like that. So we have to print in that manner. So how to do this printing problem? Just it's about uh, just printing only. So let us make a recursive function print, okay? In this recursive function, let us pass a parameter that is the matrix, the string matrix and a string sentence which will be, you know, our uh, output that we have to print. Then we will pass a variable R, which will tell us the row number. See, if this R is equal to the last row, okay, this capital R means uh, the number of rows. Capital R is for number of rows. So if our small R is equal to number of rows, that is, it is the last row, then we have to print the sentence. And we don't need one more indel, I don't know why. So we have to print the answer, okay. If it is not equal to R, 
then what we should do we should just recursively call the next the next string present in the next row we should recursively call next string present in the next row but we should do this for all the columns so outer loop will be running from 0 to the number of columns and inside the inner row i mean inside the uh, first loop inside the loop sorry inside the loop we will be doing recursion recursion of what recursion of calling the next row element that is see we will call s1 first then we should call s3 and then we should call s6 i hope you are understanding so let me just erase it again and explain so first we called s1 then we will call s6 then we call s6 okay then how was the structure tell me the structure was something like this right s1 s2 s3 s4 s5 okay then s6 s7 s8 so after this what we should do we should preserve s1 s3 but we should go to next column we should go to next column so we should print s7 so that is what is happening in this code here we are moving column wise but we are doing recursion to get the string in the next row in the same column next row same column string we have to do the recursion so i hope you understood this problem and it will be i think easy for you to code it by yourself now okay so strings we have finished successfully i really hope you are understanding this uh, videos and whatever you don't understand don't worry don't be angry i'll remake them even i make mistakes sometimes so i will correct them and i will make a better video okay so just let me know in the comments which video to remake i will remake it some of you are saying in the second third video you have some problems so i'll remake some problems okay and uh, next we should do searching and sorting so we have come a long way you have given lot of support to me please continue to do so and i'll be really grateful for you always and uh, i have also a small announcement i'll make a separate video please watch that video till the end i have some uh, announcement for you so watch that and i hope you watch the video till here you did not skip anything please don't skip please watch it till the end guys it really means a lot if you watch it till the end like share and subscribe and uh, i will see you in the next videos okay thank you for watching have a good day bye